Hi guys, so today I will be demonstrating how to embed a Buncee presentation to Schoology. Now this is a presentation that I uh, found in the um, ideas library. Uh, you're more than welcome to actually make a copy of this and, and put it in your own library. I thought this was a great example to use because of the embedded links that it has already. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to press share. I'm going to go to code and here where it says show options you have a different variety small medium large um, how many pixels you want if you want it to auto play if you want it to loop if it's like a video uh, so for right now for this purpose I'm going to press copy from the embed code right here I'm going to go to my Schoology page and I'm going to go to add materials once I'm there, I'm going to add a page. And there I will label Buncee Digital Library Example. Now, the thing with this is that you have to remember that since it's going to be embedded, typically we would use the freckle and type the code in here. But for some reason, it's not recognizing it. So what you really need to do is put insert content, insert image and media, from the web media and there you should see the embed code it's recognizing it almost like a video even though there is no video there so we're gonna go ahead and copy and paste and when you see that this turns yellow usually it tells you when it doesn't work this seems to be broken but in this situation it looks like it's yellow and strong I'm going to go ahead and resize it to my liking it's a little too big. So I'm just going to go ahead and keep pushing these corners until I get to a point where I think it's okay. Uh, now here at the bottom, I want it to display in line. So as soon as my kids scroll down, they're able to see a thumbnail of it. And if they want to get it bigger, they can click, press create. And in Schoology, all of the new products that you create go straight to the bottom. And here we are. So here, the great thing about this Buncee is that we're able to click on these links. So uh, you're able to make it your own, of course, and it'll take you to the sites that you want. Thank you for watching, and please let me know if there's any other websites that you would like to be embedded into Schoology.